So, I'm going to say another little thing about the basket hilted sword. So, here we have the Mary Rose sword again. So, one of the very characteristic guard positions you get being used with the basket hilted sword is with the hand over the head like this and the blade hanging pendant hanging down. It's shown in different ways in different fencing manuals. Uh, maybe, maybe George Silver's guard is a bit more like this with the blade very close to the body. Um, sometimes uh, you see it more uh, forwards, point forwards over the head and then in later periods you see it presented much more forward but the hilt is still up there protecting your head and the blade is still protecting the left hand side of your body. Um, and really these guard positions seem to have come about, um, these specific guard positions seem to have come about in Britain largely thanks to the basket hilt. Because if for example you have a medieval sword, holding it like that doesn't make an awful lot of sense because your hand is going to be very, very vulnerable a lot of the time. Now, I should add the caveat that if you look at uh, Morozzo, Achille Morozzo, 1536, he has a fairly simple hilted um, side sword, maybe he has some finger rings, maybe sometimes a knuckle bow, but it's essentially a medieval sword. And he, he does have this guard position, uh, but if you, if you notice, the, uh, usually the hand is held quite high if he's in his engaging, uh, engaging guard position to keep, to keep the hand away from the opponent. So your hand is more vulnerable. Um, whereas in the uh, British uh, basket hilted sword systems we actually see the blade held back and actually almost the hilt presented forward and you can only really do this very safely if you've got a nice big hilt to protect your hand otherwise you're going to spend your whole time uh, bringing your hand back trying to avoid your fingers being hit um, so, so yeah, so leading with the hilt is really quite a British thing and I think it's quite a British thing because basket hilts were quite a British type of sword and very popular in Britain. Thank you.